Hey Gani, I'm going to skin a pig, or try to, with my new neck knife that Joel made me. It's made out of an old, uh, I think he said it was made out of file, or rasp, file, I think it's a, a rasp. Look at the size of that, it's beauty, isn't it? I gave it a bit of a touch up. Yeah, not bad. Got this nice big fat sow here. So you want to feel for the chin bone around there. There's a wee point in and just go in. There, there she goes, pretty straightforward. There's our hole, look at the fat just around the hole. This hook goes into the hole and right underneath the jaw, like that. Up under here, that way there. Nifty lift. It's four to one, can tighten her up a little bit. Let's take the pressure. Very easy to pull for that much weight. And the good thing about these lifts is, if you look around this side here, there's a lock. So it's just a matter of pulling out and locking in. She ain't going anywhere. All right, Dan, you come, piggy. Oh, that's a fat sow. Look at the size of that. Jeez. Right now, let's kick into it. We're going to start at the base of the tail, go right up the spine, the top. This little cuts all the way up. Shield. Big shield for a sow. Whoa, look at that. There's a fat shield. Right to the top. One. This one here. Beautiful. Right, I've got to cut down here. Cut that right up in here. Done, goes in there. I'm loving this knife. Such a nice wee knife to skim with. It's a beauty. I think it's gonna be my favorite knife, this. Look at that. Right down there. Right around the collar. Just might have gone a wee bit low there. I like the fat of uh, pigs, their cheek. Cheeks is very nice. Back around the side. And up around here. Cut the ear off. I mean, it's not a skinning knife. It's a neck knife. We're just testing to see if we can do a pig with it. Hang on to that, mate. This is going very well with this little knife. I'm impressed. I'm impressed how it's working.
Take a pace. Peg down and dusted. Well, that's my uh, pig skinned using just a neck knife that young Joel made me. Uh, how was it? Not bad, actually. Not bad at all. I, uh, I got most of the fat that I wanted to. Lost a wee bit around here. No, pretty good overall. Bloody good pig to skin with plenty of fat on it. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm stoked, actually. It wouldn't be my go-to for skinning a knife because it doesn't have a drop tip. But if you're in the field and you lost your skinning knife, you're out somewhere and you needed a knife to, to skin your pig, this would be the one to do it. Some of you guys like to singe your pigs or scold them so you can have this, the crackling and all that outside and that there'd be all good tucker. And you might be asking yourself, well, what's Clay going to do with his skins now he's taking them off, which I have. What I do with these, I put them over the fire, the outside fire, burn the hair off, cut them into dog treats. They've got lots of fat on, good chomping and chewing for my dogs inside their dog boxes over winter. 
out of this skin here I'll feed my dogs a little bit of pig skin each night after they've had their posse um, oh, I'll probably get three months out of it if you choose for that it's really a really good tucker and uh, it's good for them and they love it it smells so good when you're putting it over the fire I can tell you what you can almost tear into it yourself so uh, to the young fella that uh, made this knife and delivered it to me young Joel well done mate next time you and Nelson here come out for a pig hunt we'll take you out I like this knife, it's good, it's held its edge well through the whole uh, skinning process, didn't take me long, probably, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes maybe, and uh, yeah, that's what you call strip skinning a pig. If you're doing a sour, easy, don't use that method on boars unless they've got a very small shield, because you'll struggle on this part here, other than that, it keeps all the fat on, it does a good job. Hope you enjoyed this clip, good luck with your own hunting, your own skinning, processing, whatever you're doing, butchering and all the rest of it. I could do a uh, video on butchering it, but my, my battery's already low on the GoPro, so I don't want to go inside and charge it to do that. I want to tear this off now and bag it up, because it's been hanging, well it's caught on Sunday and today's Thursday, so we can take it straight off and bag it. Yep, be good, can't be good, be careful, see you soon. Well, a white boy's pretty good with his gun, get out on the hill and take his fun. Fine love, a white boy's pretty good with his knife. Summer or spring, when the autumn comes, time will tell. White boy knows the nature very well. White boy.